welcome class in this video we will try to complete practical number 3b what is expected in this practical is demonstrating the use of calendar control <coughs> to perform the following operation displaying the message in the calendar control displaying the vacation in a calendar control assumption that vacation will be there for 10 days or 5 days diwali vacation will consider Selected day in a calendar using the style. So selected day is what I look and feel. Achha dikhna chahiye. And difference between two calendar dates. So we'll take one calendar date and the other calendar date, and we will try to find the difference between two dates. Already I designed the program, so let us try to focus about how the program is getting executed. So what is the output? First I will show you, and then I will show you how uh, we had received this particular output. So you can find this is October 2022, which shows from 23 that Diwali is getting started. And around 10 days holiday or 5 days holiday, we had considered the range as what we had 10 days. So it is showing 10 days is going to be considered to be holiday. So we can understand, okay, fine, these are all Diwali days are there. If I am going to the uh, September and I am getting 5th of September is a teacher day. And one image is also getting displayed. Further, if I am selecting over here uh, a today's date is 12 and when I give a click on the submit, you can find today's date is 12 10 2022. Diwali vacation start from 23rd 10. Days remaining for Diwali vacation is definitely 10 and days remaining for the new year start is 79. Fine, so title is also been added. The program has been already developed by my students. So I will just explain the program now to you. It's quite an easier program. What are the few things which we had done? First thing, we would like to display the 5th of uh, September, which is uh, Teacher's Day. We need to display some image also on it. That's the reason on a Solution Explorer, you will find add added already one particular file named as a tg.jpg. So the tg.jpg is nothing but your teacher's day, happy teacher day image, which will be getting displayed on the calendar control day. Further, you will find that for the October Diwali vacation, that range was been selected. To get this output, first thing, everybody knows how to add up a control. Calendar control is quite easy. You can just go to the toolbox. You can select here calendar and drag the calendar control on the page. This is a simple way by which the calendar control get added. So this is the way by which this calendar one control get added. Now in the calendar one, I had gone to its properties. And under the property, this is the property window. And this is the, these are what the events which are associated with the object. I had considered the one event called a day render. Now you already have a habit of giving double clicking on the object to come to the event. But when you double click on object, you will be going towards the selection change. <coughs> but for displaying that teacher deka symbol, yellow wala item, diwali wala item, then at that time, you required to work with the event called a day render. So I had selected the calendar, gone to the day render and typed the event code called as calendar one underscore day render. Once I do it, then double click on it, you will come to the code. So this is the code which has been written over here. What is the code written over there? I am just saying, when you are entering the calendar, displaying the calendar, check if the month is 9 and the day is 5. Then change the background color as yellow. Create a new label. On the label displays, on the BR track teacher day, line break okay, but teacher day dikhai dega. And add this particular label inside this particular cell. Which cell? The cell where day is 5 and month is 9. Moving ahead, one image control get created. The JP is been added. The image width and height is been set. And the image control also get added. And that's the reason why we are getting these all effects on the month 9 and day 5 as a teacher day. So you can get this output over here. Right? So these is the effect which is coming because we are written this small code for the same. Similarly for the Diwali, I had gone for if the day is 23rd 
and month is 10 because this year we are having Diwali on 23rd 10. So day is 23rd and month is 10. Then take your selected date and then add up a range. And I am adding 10 days over here. But Diwali is normally for 5 days. So I am adding over here 5. So you will find now only 5 days are being in the range selection. And a label is getting added which will be displayed in the container as Diwali. Pahela das dikhara ta, rewind karke wapas se bar dekh lo. Abhi mein agar run karunga, you will find only 5 uh, days will get selected in the month of October for Diwali dates. Right? So we will get a different color for those 5 days. Diwali starts from 23rd, it will be 24, 25, 26, 27, 20. Right? And teacher D is also getting displayed this way. So, this is the code for displaying that specific date, specific images, specific label on the calendar control. These options will be utilized by us. Now, as per the practical, I need to add a difference between two dates, etc. So, for that reason, I added some label like label 1, label 2, label 3, label 4, label 5. Calendar control double click on the code code the accounts label one dot text, whatever the date which you select, that should be displayed on the label one text. And when the user clicks on a submit, then few operations are being taken by us and completed by us. What are these few operations? Are? Calendar ka caption chalo yaar, main mera naam hon, ye ne kya dala hai to I'm just adding it over here. My name Abai More. It says first day of week is going to be Sunday. Next and previous month format is short month, so it will be considered DEC, not December. If suppose you are interested in going to display as a full month name, then instead of short month, you can write over here as full month. So it will display November, not NOV. NOV and BR pura dikhai dekha. Title format has been displayed. <coughs> Further, the today's date is a selected date of the calendar. Moving ahead, we are displaying Diwali vacation which starts from this date. Then one time span object has been created by me where the new date and type is added and we had subtracted the current date with the Diwali date. So we can get the difference between the remaining days. Right? Similarly, we had subtracted the new year also. That is 31-12-2022. And how many days are remaining with the new year? They are getting displayed and those values are being displayed by us. So those values are what being displayed by us. Ye kuch selected date. Agar 9-28-2018 hota hai. To fir kya bola hai? Diwali festival. But ye 9-28-2022 hai na? So I can say 22 and month is being 10. So Diwali festival ends over here. So let us try to work out with the submit button now. So if I give a click on this particular execution and when I am giving a click on this particular selecting a particular date, what it does? It displays me the selected date over here. And when I give a click on a submit, the output get displays today's date. Now the value will be coming at Abhay Mori. Today's date is 12 10 2022. Diwali vacation starts at 23 10 2022. Days remaining for Diwali vacation is 10. And days remaining for New Year is what? 79. So what will happen if my Diwali vacation ends? If your Diwali vacation ends, then the days remaining for Diwali vacation is kuch meaning hai Right? So the working will not be at all been done properly. So let's see. Now the appropriate values are what getting displayed. And this is the full month name like September. I am taking the September month 20 and then I am giving the click on submit. Okay, I think so the code is not getting executed over here. Still output is going to be shown as remaining days for Diwali vacations are 10 only. Because today's date which has been selected, okay. This is a today's date. Na? So code mein dekho, selected date nahi hai. So date time dot now hai. So ye date mein, date town dot now matlab ye current date hi aayega jo aaj ka date hai mera calendar ka. वो सिलेक्टेड डेट को पकड़ा हुआ नहीं है यहां पे अगर आप ध्यान दोगे तो टुडेस डेट में हम लोगों ने क्या किया टुडेस डेट मतलब नाउ वाला डे को ही कंसीडर किया हुआ है कैलेंडर का सिलेक्टेड डेट को लिया हुआ है अगर वही सिलेक्टेड डेट को लेते थे तो जो आपने सेलेक्ट किया वहां से आपका डिफरेंशिएशन आना चालू हो जाएगा क्लियर फिर वो सिलेक्टेड डेट कैसा लेंगे सर कोड में देखो ऊपर लिखा है ना 
कैलेंडर वन डॉट सिलेक्टेड डेट सो यहाँ पे वही लिखना पड़ेगा कैलेंडर वन डॉट सिलेक्टेड डेट सो करके दिखा चलो यार करके दिखाता हूँ सो कैलेंडर वन डॉट सिलेक्टेड डेट डॉट टू शॉर्ट डेट स्ट्रिंग आई रन दीज नाउ सो यूल फाइंड डिफरेंस नाउ बिटवीन दो ओके वेयर द कोड इज बिन रिटर्न माय स्टूडेंट इज सेइंग दैट सर आ बराबर है टुडेस डेट को वही रखते हैं ना हम लोग चल जाएगा ना सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू कीप द टुडेस डेट लाइक दिस ओनली एंड टाइम स्पैन है अपना डेट टाइम टुडेस डेट को डिस्प्ले मैंने यहां पे किया और थोड़ा देखेंगे अगर नीचे अपना क्या चेंज किया है डेट टाइम दिस 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 और डिफरेंशिएशन द सबट्रैक्शन ऑफ डेट टाइम डॉट नाउ उस जगह पे मुझे क्या करना पड़ेगा डेट टाइम डॉट सिलेक्टेड डेट टाइम नहीं आएगा सॉरी इट इज कैलेंडर वन डॉट परफेक्ट है सो आई जस्ट चेंज द वैल्यू फ्रॉम द कैलेंडर वन डॉट सिलेक्टेड डेट राइट एंड फॉर द सेम थिंग डे रिमेनिंग फॉर अ न्यू ईयर Assume that the working will be there, so I just run the program. If I selected October twenty eight, fine. Diwali vacation ka naaga New Year perfect ho gaya, right? So, ah, ye kyu ho gaya? Ham logo ko dekhna padega. Apna Diwali vacation ka bhi. डेज ये भी डेट देखो परफेक्ट आ गया अभी इसके लिए हम लोग को मालूम है हम लोग ने वहां पे भी चेंजेस नहीं किया होगा जहां पे डेज रिमेनिंग फॉर क्या किया रहे अब दिवाली वेकेशन है यहाँ पे भी क्या लिखा है डेट टाइम डॉट नाउ उस जगह पे आपको क्या लिखना पड़ेगा फिर एज कैलेंडर वन डॉट सिलेक्टेड डे अगर ये कर लोगे तो परफेक्टली सिलेक्टेड डेट के हिसाब से डिफ्रेंसिएशन दो डेट का बीच का आ जाएगा सो वी कैन चेक रियली इट वर्क इन अ प्रॉपर वे आर नॉट and find the code shows me the output where the days remaining for diwali vacation is 39 remaining for new year is 108 now days remaining for diwali vacation is now 2 and uh, days remaining for new year is 71 so this way we can be able to work with this particular practical class some students are asking me the comments in comment that sir provide the source code we are coming with a link where all the programs solved by us uh, a zip file will be created of all practicals and those practical will be given to you not in the pdf format but in your visual studio project format only yeah along with that we will try to copy paste the entire source code in pdf and give it to you in a pdf also so it will be easy for you to go for presenting these program uh, and trying out this program you will not invest much of the time for typing the source code so be tuned with us subscribe the channel ye sabhi updates aapko channels mein aate rahenge thanks a lot